Hello, welcome to episode 324 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. On this episode I play a 1983 ZX Spectrum game called Mind Out. I read a short Wikipedia article about the game. And it said that Mind Out is also known as Mind Sweeper. That is not surprising, because Mind Out reminds me of Mind Sweeper except that I don't have to turn flag mines. I enjoyed playing Mind Out a lot. I might be too impatient to be good at the game. But, I was able to get to the second level. It's my type of game. I don't need fast reflexes, and I can go at my own pace except I always want to quicken my past. I want to get to the next level. I used the arrow keys to move around the game screen. I am not sure how many levels Mind Out has. I assume it has an end. Mind Out is one of the funniest ZX Spectrum games I have played so far. I watched a few minutes of a walkthrough video that was 29 minutes long so I assume that it takes about half an hour to beat the game. Yesterday I watched another Hacksplained video that went through another OWASP juice ship vulnerability. It was fun because I got to use Burp's repeater. I was able to follow along with the video and solve the vulnerability. So fun. I might like hunting for bugs than I like using the internet. I don't think I do anything that great with a computer. But, I do like looking for bugs. I am still making my way through the Kaggle machine learning tutorial. I know how to set up a model. Now I am learning about how to test the accuracy of the model. Even though I have read about machine learning I have never really done any machine learning. I hope I make it through all the, the Kaggle courses. I am also reading how to design programs too again. I have read it several times before. I don't mean I finished the book. I only got up to exercises 166 or so in the book. I had a lot of fun reading how how to design programs too. I don't know why I quit reading it. Why didn't I finish reading the book? I think I have tried to read the book two times before. It seems to be the same pattern with a lot of the programming books I want to read. I read them and then I stop reading them before I get done reading all the way through. So I want to start a book and then finish it and go on to the next programming book I want to read. I also want to read program arcade games with Python and Pygame. I have tried to read it before. I know I said I wanted to read one programming book and finish it and then move on to the next one. How about reading two programming books and then moving on to the next ones I want to read? I suppose I can start as many books as I want. I like to get books finished. I know I want to code my own programs and make make arcade games. I thought some of the exercises in how to design programs were cool. I don't know how long ago I stopped reading it but it seems like forever. Racket is the only programming language where I can write tests good. I can write tests in Faro but I am still not that good at it. So hopefully I will finish reading through how to design programs too. If I don't finish reading it at least I tried. There are so many programming books I want to read. Oh, I remember years ago I read some of the art of computer programming I did not finish reading the book. I still want to see if I can write programs with high level assembly. I never did make a program with HLA. I have not used HLA in years. It's not a programming language that I want to learn. I want to make my own programs. I can make programs with any programming language that I know good enough. So as I said I am reading Making Arcade Game with Python and Pygame. That started me thinking what type of arcade game would I make. Would I want to make a game like Manic Miner or Space Invaders? Or some type of sports game? And as I have said before I want to make a text game. Maybe I could make a Pac-Man clone. I will have to think about it. Just start coding. A game is better than no game. I don't want to learn 20 programming languages anymore. It's too much work. And I would have to sit in front of a computer for too long. I have other hobbies besides using a computer. I am trying to focus on the things I like using my computer for. I want to make games, learn machine learning, and learn ethical hacking. I also like to play games on my computer. I know there was an episode of The Shower where I talked about what I liked using a computer for. I wanted to program when I got a computer. I still have not made my own program. Or should I say I have made a program but I have not finished making the program. If I get a program done I can make it better. So I want to start. I want to practice using Git. And I wonder if I could even get people to follow my GitHub. I have a lot of repositories but no finished programs. I start making a program upload it to git and then move on. I don't finish the program. I don't know if I will ever be able to make big programs by myself but I do want to make a small program. So I have got to start. So I will start. I might enjoy programming. I don't know because I haven't done it much. So I will start and finish my own program. 
A text game. I can do it if I only try. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of my other videos.